Uh, I have not heard of the show Dino Trucks. I've never even heard of it. I'll start here. All right, I'm going to inspect every single piece of evidence here. Texas all green and red. Well, that matches the three that were out in the courtyard, right? Because it was blue, yellow, and pink out there, right? But maybe none of them got repainted. The hatch is open as well. The cockpit's exposed. So this is how it looks on the inside, huh? It's small, but big enough for one person. Is it? It's back. Oh. Huh? The hatch is open. How strange. Only the mono cubs can turn off the electronic lock and open the hatch. Huh? Only the mono cubs can open the hatch? Yeah. Yeah. Normally, the mono cubs are the only ones who can pilot the exosols. Well. Normally being the keyword. But because of that electro hammer thingy, the electronic lock is all screwed up. Uh, Have um, you mentioned this to anyone else? I'm nope. No one's asked about it either. And even if I had been asked, it would have been irrelevant information to you anyway. An electronic lock on the hatch that only the monocubs can disable, which must be why only the monocubs can control the exosols. But if you could disable the lock, hmm. you could control the exosol. Bullet git. The red exosol is completely hey, still. Sweetie. It's dangerous there. If you go near that thing, you might get torn apart. No. Oh, it shouldn't move anymore. Not without the monocubs or Kokichi. Mm -hmm. and so it's just a pile of scrap then. Jeez, don't scare me like that. With my Maybe magic. I should tear this hunk of junk apart with my magic. Ah, oh. oh, but I suppose that, that if Kokichi was alive, you could move it at any time by remote. Oh, oh, why didn't you say so sooner? That is, if Kokichi's alive. But that remote control Kokichi has for the Exosols, what is it exactly? Does he have that because he's the mastermind? It's a panel that controls the alarm system and electric barrier. I don't see any reason to turn him back on, though. The hydraulic press is down and there's blood in the area. The hydraulic press is controlled by these buttons. If we use this to lift up the hydraulic press, we should be able to check the body. I don't really want to do that, though. What? Do it! It's important! You loser! There's a sleeve sticking out of the press. It's definitely Kaito's coat sleeve. In that case, the victim must be... I don't want to do it. I have to raise the press to inspect the body. Yes, duh! Obviously. What is this? A blood stain? There's a faint trail of blood leading to the press, a swipe pattern as if dragged. It looks as if it's coming from the bathroom. Hmm. This blood stain suggests something was dragged from the bathroom to the press. What if what if uh, Kaito died in the bathroom of his coronavirus and then he got dragged and someone crushed him? And it's all bait. These controls move the hydraulic press. They can go up, down, and stop. I should be able to use up to raise the press and check the body. Mm. I don't want to see a crushed body, no matter whose it is, but I have to do All it. Right. I have to know. I made up my mind, took a breath, and pressed the button. It's not going to work because of the grenade. Hmm. Huh? It's not moving? I pressed the button a few more times, but the press still wouldn't move. Why? Strange. It moved when I pressed it last time. After looking around the press, I found oh. the power cord is cut. I see. There's no power, so the hydraulic press won't move. Hmm. This can't be coincidence. The power cord was cut on purpose. This must be the work of the culprit. In that case, we won't be able to check the body. I'm honestly a little relieved, but I shouldn't say that out loud. Hmm. Can take another look at the controls. There must be some clue here. In addition to the controls, there's an emergency stop button. The press would have been stopped instantly if you used this. Well... Well, if the culprit were planning this murder, they'd have no use for it. What concerns me more is the safety function. That's right. This hydraulic press should have had a safety function. See, he was already dead when he got crushed. If the infrared sensor detects a living thing, the press stops automatically. Well, it didn't stop when Kibo tried before. 
Debo's the culprit. The sensor detected a person. The safety should have stopped the press automatically. Mm. Stop automatically, huh? This looks like a car wash. It doesn't look like it's been used. I don't see any clues. What about the painter? Looks like machine used to paint the exosols. It smells like paint thinner. Looks the same as before. Probably not related. The Monokuma file this time barely has any information in it at all. Uh, okay. Yeah, it won't be of much use to us. It's so useless, he probably shouldn't have even gone out of his way to give it to us. True. Uh-oh. He's... That's it's fine. Nice. It's fine. A mascot's appearance at a murder scene brings a sense of relief and peace of mind. He popped out. What an attention hog. Of course I want attention. I'm the mascot for crying out loud. And yet I've appeared fewer times than that plain Jane Sumugi over there. And it'd be false advertising if I didn't appear as often as I can, you know? Advertising? What advertising? No. Ignore it. Let's just focus on the investigation. Yeah. Sell those plushies. What? I don't want to talk to you right now, okay? Mm -hmm. The way you are now. You might start accusing people because you can't believe Kaito's death. No. No, that's not... I, I don't want to hear your excuses or anything else. Just don't talk to me. You keep bugging me. I'll give you afro hair with my magic. He's awfully stubborn, is it? She that suspicious of everything now? Or is there a reason she doesn't want to talk to everyone? No, don't suspect the Himiko. Now that I think about it. Stop thinking about it and go in. This is the place where Kaito was imprisoned. Kaito might have left some kind of clue no. here. No, he didn't leave anything. He might not be dead. Anyway, I should investigate inside. Oh shit, son. A small window for ventilation. This is... Yes, we know. Same as before. It's a small window and it doesn't open all the way. No one would be able to fit through here. Well. And I suppose someone could fit through. Kaito would have escaped by now. Perhaps it's too small for a person, but an object could fit through. You mean like Maki passing him the fucking crossbow, apparently? Wait, what did it say? It said something different. I don't believe Kaito's dead. Okay. Maki, what you up to? This case. Hmm. Crossbow. This is the case from before, right? There are arrows on the floor of the bathroom. Three in total and blood on all of them. Uh, um, what is this? What happened here? There's a small bottle in the corner of the bathroom. Empty. If I remember correctly. I feel like I've seen this before. The label has blood all over it. I can't read it completely. But I can see the word poison. Could it be? And if it's poison, this bottle must be hmm. taken from my lab. I don't know who brought this here, but it definitely has something to do with this case. The crossbow? This is another flashback! Why is this here? Blood. Blood stain. A puddle of blood in the center of the room and a swipe pattern from there to the door. Hmm. What could this mean? Hmm. Alright, I finished investigating the bathroom. There were more clues than I thought there'd be, and one is particularly concerning. Why is the crossbow from Maki's lab in here? And the three bloody arrows. Those arrows are definitely for the crossbow, but why are all three bloodied? And that bottle of poison, what could it have been used for? Hmm. There's still so much I don't know. This case looks like it's going to be tricky.
I think there's there is. Wait, this this move? Oh no, it was sitting here before. Uh, what else is there to look at? I looked at this, right? There's the muffin fell. Yeah, you said this. What did I miss? Machine. I looked at that painting machine. I looked at that. Yumiko didn't want to talk to me. Shut up. She's gonna blow up. Oh shit. Am I blind? It's always a potential. Exosol, Exosol, toilet room, traces of blood, hydraulic press, the bit of clothing, panel. Hmm. Oh, what's this? The sleeve has a single small hole in it. Hmm. A hole in the sleeve? Look at this bee. There we go. Suppose that's about all the information I can deduce from the hydraulic press. I can't check the body, so I don't have any clues to work with. Mm. I have to find more clues elsewhere. It's about all I can investigate here in the hangar. There's still questions. The truth is far out of reach. I can't deduce who the victim is. Mm. I need more clues. I should investigate other areas. I should start with the areas around the hangar. Are we going to have to investigate in a walking around zone? The alarm system's off. It must still be affected by the electro bomb. All right. I should investigate this place thoroughly. There must be some clues around here. Whoa. I've never had to investigate in a walking around place before. That's new. We have the technology. This is the control panel that controls the electric barrier protecting the hangar. We hit it with an electro hammer, so it isn't operational right now. That's true. Right. What are these marks here? Looks like it's been struck by something sharp. What could these be? Hmm. Wait, how are they even able to damage this in the first place? Getting near the control panel should cause the alarm to go off. You have to turn off the alarm before you even get close. So how did the person who did this get near the control panel? I think I'm starting to feel a little better now. I'm sorry to worry you, Shuichi. I okay. was a bit worried. I'm glad you're feeling better. There's something I needed to ask hey. Kibo. Hey, Kibo, before you went into the hangar this morning, you said... Yeah, you said he went on his own. And he got no response. Uh, um. You said you witnessed a few things. What exactly did you see? Hmm. Uh, yes. Since we were in a hurry, I only told you about the Exosol returning to the hangar. Okay. Yeah, you said the Exosols could pass through the alarm system and barrier to the hangar. Yes. I never imagined something like this would happen, so I didn't mention it before. But before I saw the Exosol, I saw someone heading toward the hangar. Huh? You saw someone? Um... I saw... Mimiko. 
I was in my lab trying to think of what I should write to She has the fucking crossbow case. That's when I saw her walking toward the hangar, clutching something in her hands. I think it was a black bag. A black bag? Uh-oh. I... At the time, I assumed she was going there to examine things or plead with Kokichi. And since she came back later, I didn't think much of it. But, but after seeing her reaction this morning, I started to get a little suspicious. True, she is being strange. What? She was acting like she had something to hide. It's not that I want to suspect her. You're right. True, it is suspicious. Hey. You said you saw her come back as well. Was she holding the bag at that time? Well. Now that I think about it, she wasn't. So she had it coming in, but not leaving. It has to be. That black bag Himiko was um, carrying was... By the way, this is a little off topic, Shuichi, but... Huh? What is it? As I thought. The reason I wasn't feeling well may have been due to the electrobomb, but, but it was because of the electromagnetic particles, not because I'm a robot. So what I experienced was akin to an allergic reaction, such as hay fever. Which means... So it could have affected a human being the same way. Being a robot had nothing to do with it. Uh, okay. Oh, right. That must be it. Well, that thing Himiko said was bothering him. He really is a bit too sensitive. Thanks, Kibo. That was useful, I think. This is the bathroom window. It's the only window and it's not possible to fit through. That means the only way to get into this hangar is through the shutter. It's not a bullet though, huh? I think this is the first time in the series we've investigated in a walkie aroundy place. Why would there be an electro hammer here? It's out of power. It must have been used. But used for what? Someone whomped an exosol with it and then ran into the hangar, maybe? If I remember the electro hammer's power is expended. It requires 24 hours to recharge. I know that for certain. And Maki was the only one this morning who didn't have hers. So maybe she whomped an Exosol. I remember the site I saw yesterday. Exosol's protecting Monokuma for some reason. Kokichi said he was the mastermind. The Exosol should have been around him. So why were they still protecting Monokuma? And four of them too. I think they were like prisoning him, not protecting him. I suppose I was so caught up thinking about Kokichi, I ignored Monokuma. Pay attention! Listen up, take heed, I say! Oh. Monokuma? It's just I noticed you came this way last night, Shuichi. Huh? huh? <laughs> you were acting all sneaky, weren't you? Like a teenage boy trying to creep into the adult movie section of the video store. No way. But you didn't need to sneak around, because the Exosols wouldn't have attacked you. Hey. What are you saying? We didn't have to sneak... Because everyone's coming to rent adult movies, so in a way, everyone going there is the same. Wait! No, oh, not about that. I meant the Exosols not attacking us. Yeah? Oh, at the time, the Exosols were on autopilot and directed only of to observe me. Hey! Their movements are more limited now that the Monocubs aren't around to pilot them. Huh? Autopilot? You mean the remote control Kokichi has? Well... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So the Exosols were being controlled by Kokichi's remote control. But they were focusing on Monokuma? Hey! Why are you telling me all this? This puts the person controlling you at a disadvantage. Hey, but we're not talking about that, we're talking about this! <laughs> Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. Hmm. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. Hey. So you share it instead! That way, it'll be fair to all the participants. If someone else besides me knows this, why wouldn't they share this information? Okay. That's all I can tell you. Yeah. By the yeah. way, renting movies is so old school, it's more thrilling to illegally download them. Psycho. It's like trying not to get caught by a big game hunter while holding your breath during sex. Yeah? You sure? information about the exosols could be a clue to solving the case. I should remember this. What exactly did I witness here? I know for certain the exosols are being controlled by Kokichi's remote control, but why were they focusing on Monokuma? 